right, guys, we are back on the zoo, and we're here at the famous bench at Runyon Canyon, which you've never been at. I've never been, and I was born and raised in L.A. You were born and bred in L.A. I could go for some bread. I know you can. <laughs> uh, no, this is like a lot of TV shows, a lot of movies have been filmed here, yeah, so it's pretty, pretty iconic. Cute. Yeah, this is pretty cute. It's a good hike. All right, now, easy transition into the next toss. Speaking of visions. Ooh. Right? So I interviewed a guy named Xian Fu. He's a rock artist. He's a musician. He's also very psychedelic. Psychedelic person. You've seen some of his music. I have seen, yeah, yeah, yeah. His music videos are just like, it's like a, a complete experience. Visual, auditory, you know? Totally. Well, I talked to him about, like, you know, psychedelics and how he's been influenced by, like, mushrooms and ayahuasca and all that mm -hmm. stuff, and we got really into it, as you know, so check it out. Cien Fue, what's up, my man? Hey, what's up? How are you doing up there in L.A.? I'm doing pretty good. How's everything? So you're in Panama City, right? You're, you're, you're running around Panama City? Yeah, I've been, I had a busy day today running around Panama City right here uh, next to the Panama Canal, next to a big jungle known as the Soberania National Park. So it's all kinds of tropical critters coming over into the city all day long. Oh, wow. Had, like, yeah, this is part of our whole tropical uh, vibe thing for our music. I've had like snakes in my house. I've had like the, a couple of interviews ago, we had toucans flying overhead. Wow. Uh, pretty, pretty cool. And uh, we're, our sound is psychedelia tropical. So it all, it's, all, it's all distilled in there. Well, I, you know, one of the things that's making 2020 livable despite everything that's going uh, on is your new album, Life in the Tropics. So, um, you know, you're touching upon Life in the Tropics. Why is it that that was the, the name of the album and the theme for this album? Oh, thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it. Um, we, I had this group of songs in English. It was going to be my first uh, album in English. I had over 80 tracks in Spanish before. And uh, basically, I wanted to kind of reach out to more people and spread our message of just these tropical vibes coming from the Amazon and uh, kind of uh, warming up the lives of everybody up north and uh, trying to get a little bit of the warm tropical energy from down here over to you guys. Explain explain your your, your psychedelic tropical music. You call it psicodelia tropical. Explain that to people. Uh -huh. Well, I, I came out of rock and espanol and Latin alternative. Uh, my first album was in 2006. And uh, I, my influences were mostly uh, Latin rock bands like Caifanes and uh, Soda Stereo and uh, Robi Draco Rosa, that kind of sound, Latin alternative. And uh, I've been evolving. And this latest album, I had a bunch of songs that are more of an international indie sound. And uh, we're, we're just uh, distilling a lot of different influences from traditional uh, Panamanian guitar and folkloric sounds to cumbia, to salsa, a lot of different Latin influences, but a lot of different like psychedelic rock from the 60s, Jimi Hendrix, Led Zeppelin. I, my head is like a melting pot, trying to trying to kind of coalesce all of that into into psychedelia tropical, which is uh, tropical vibes with some psychedelia and some ayahuasca inspired uh, messaging, also, which is trying to spread positive vibes and get people to understand that they need to uh, live in harmony with nature and appreciate nature. Have you recently done ayahuasca, or have you been doing ayahuasca over the past few years that brought you to this part in your creativity where you wanted to do something very psychedelic and very like introspective and-, and Exactly. You know. I've also uh, tried some different ones like psilocybin and LSD and, and I had an ayahuasca experience uh, a couple of years ago when I was in the process of making this album. So it kind of helped me bring together the entire vision for the album. And also the visuals really inspired some of the artwork, some of the psychedelic artwork. Um, I saw some amazing uh, neon kaleidoscope uh, visuals in the jungle at night and uh, we did it in a big uh, we did it with a couple of Colombian shamans here uh, in a national park called Cerro Campana which is uh, Bell Mountain basically and it's a big jungle so we were on the edge of the jungle all night for about 10 hours tripping and it was a really intense uh, kind of like a message I had a really intense experience uh, gazing into a fire also where I went into the fire. Life in the Tropics, the title track yeah. is amazing. Sunset Sesh, you know, when you were talking about some of your influences from the 60s, I was expecting you to say the name that you sound just like him in the song, which is Carlos Santana. But oh, oh, cool. 
Santana, like 1969 Carlos Santana. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I mean, do, do you, does it make sense to you when, when, when I bring that up? Yeah, that's definitely an influence. Uh, some of my biggest influences uh, are uh, for guitar, for the, for the type of guitar language I'm trying to, to develop is uh, Santana, the Caifanes guitarist, Markovic, also is a huge influence. He did a, a really interesting translation of mariachi and Mexican guitars to electric guitar for Caifanes. Uh, and I highly recommend the, the classic Caifanes album, El Nervio del Volcán, The Nerve of the Volcano. It's an amazing album for a guitar player that's looking for something similar to Santana. So those two guys, a couple of Brazilian guys like Gilberto Gil, that also did some kind of Latin stuff on electric guitar. And I'm actually, uh, I studied a lot of traditional Panamanian, uh, like roots Panamanian uh, influences. Uh, in Panama, they call it typical music, like musica tipica. It's gonna be time to dance. Uh, yeah. and, and, you're, it, it, and the music easily transitions between rock and dance. Um, listen, man, I, I think it's a great album. Um, I love hearing the backstory. I, I think it's so cool that you, are infusing you know, your music with some of the spiritual experiences that you're having, some of the psychedelic experiences. So uh, everyone definitely has to go out and uh, you know get download this album, Life in the Tropics, and and maybe one day you and me sit in a ceremony together, brother. Yeah, awesome, man. Yeah.